The Kenya Army now takes over the leadership of the Kenya Defence Forces after a five-year stint under the Kenya Navy. The rotation granted to the Chief of Defence Forces position played out in a colourful change of guard ceremony in honour of General Samson Mwatete, who now heads to retirement. Leila Mohammed witnessed the colourful send-off ceremony at the Department of Defence headquarters in Nairobi. For one last time, General Samson Mwathethe marched through a guard of honor mounted by the three disciplines of the Kenya Defense Forces. His successor, General Robert Kibochi, also took the march, the first of many that he will oversee as the new Chief of Defense Forces. The first order of business was the exchange of the ceremonial flag, one general passing the baton to another. Then the signing of this certificate marking the legal exchange of power. General Motheta was showered with praise after praise. During his five-year term, we have seen several changes made as informed by lessons learned. Motheta is a true gentle giant, a calm, purposeful person that even in the midst of a crisis leaves one reassured because, as he will say it, all will be well, and assuringly he does. But I also benefited a great deal from his great jokes, most of them deep, some very, very deep. For the man of the moment, life in the military would have been difficult were it not for the support of family, more so his wife. To my dear wife, Amina, allow me to congratulate you too. The way I see it, is this retirement is for you too. Well, I spent most of my time pondering military tactics, strategies, and plans, you steered the family. General Mothethe has been hailed as a great leader, soldier, and sailor who steered the forces calmly under rough waters twice when KDF officers were attacked inside Somalia in El Ade and Kulbio. Everything I know, everywhere I have gone to, most of my experiences have greatly been through my lenses as a military officer. For the new man in charge, the key focus is overseeing the withdrawal of KDF soldiers from the Horn of Africa nation in 2021. We, as leadership that you left behind, undertake under my leadership, to continue the very good work and effort uh, towards raising KDF's mission readiness uh, to higher levels. I'm proud to take over from you, having had great mentorship. After receiving gifts, it was time for one last hurrah. It is a fair winds and following seas for a man who has spent 42 years as a military sailor. But as he changes into civilian life, the KDF is now changing guard into a new chapter with General Kibochi at the helm. A caravan of his peers, officers above the rank of brigadier, stood in line, each holding a piece of this rope tied to an open back Land Rover that would drive the former chief out of a place he called home and out into civilian life. The procession sneaks through the aisles of the DOD, affording the general one last wave of goodbye. The procession parted ways at the main entrance where his official vehicle was waiting by. But before leaving, one last look back at his life for the last 42 years. Memories were also captured if only for posterity. General Kibochi then took the official CDF car as Moatheta went into his and the two parted. General Kibochi will be sworn in Monday. Leila Mohamed, NTV.